looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Let's talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Harold Lang? An intellectual looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. He's cool. He looks like Dwight from The Office. So, hey, you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to... Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Mm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. Hmm. What else can we look at? Let's look at the clock. Just gone midnight. Feels like I've been here forever. Because you have! Dun dun dun. It's a bit too big to carry around. Well, I... I wasn't recommending that you climb up there and take it off the wall. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's take the station with us. There's nobody inside and it's all boarded up. No point. Oh, right. My mistake. I can see the train coming. It'll be nice to get in out of the cold. Yeah, it's true. Maybe you should have brought a coat with you. <laughs> a forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. How true. So what are these? A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. Right. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. Okay. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, look at all this stuff we have. My cracked little doggy. I didn't realize we had all this stuff. My train tickets. Okay. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Good for you. Yes, carry mace around. That's, that's a good idea. I recommend that all the time. My trusty lighter, 10 years old and still going strong. Pepper spray is like 10 bucks on Amazon. Go for it. I'd like to say smoking is my only vice, but it's not. Well, all right then. The charnel house burial. I don't remember bringing this. Uh, you did take it off your bookshelf. Uh, okay, that's all the items we have. Let's have a smoke. <laughs> I shouldn't light up train will be here soon. Well, fine then. Boring. Nah. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe look at the book? Hey, look at this, Harold. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. Oh, right, he needed I reading need material. I after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction. Yeah, sorry. No, not at all. 
It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Well, you dropped something. Looks like this is us. You dropped something on the ground. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. The, 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 you dropped the thing. What's the thing on the ground? It's gonna drive me crazy. You just ran over it. Well, oh, good. well. Good, good, good. What's this then? Who's our cute little doggy? Oh, it's her dog model. I know just who'll like this. <coughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. <coughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon and you'll be back home before you know it. Aye, I reckon so. Uh... Alright then, good. She just took the midnight train going anywhere. Eh, okay. Station just shut down. Well, now we're on the train. And that is the end of Inhale. So I guess the next chapter is Sepulchre, which we've already played, but maybe they've changed it a bit since then, now that Alex is in the fold. We'll find out. Wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. All right, so now we're playing the Sepulchre segment of the game, which so far appears to be almost identical to the uh, original. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. So, I know that I've already played this before in a one-shot, but uh, we'll be just going through it again for those that haven't seen it, and for continuity's sake. What do we have here, then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennicon Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Good. Good. It's nothing interesting. Well, you just... That's a lie. You just looked... Okay. You just looked inside it. It's nothing interesting. That's a lie as well. How about you go touch it for me? I can't just cart around any old thing. All right, we're back to this again, are we? Shut us down. All right. Um, see anything else to check out here? This is the chair. Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Why don't you go back to sleep? Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Okay, well, let's, uh, get out of here then, Harold. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. 
Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... Having a little bit of amnesia there, aren't you, buddy? Ha! All right, hang on a second. Let me check something. Okay, the volume. There's only one volume meter. I wanted to see if there was a uh, way to balance the background music and the voice acting, but I guess not. Because I noticed the, the the music is a little loud for my taste. Not a big deal at all, though. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could. Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. Good. A friendly-looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Can we go out this door? No? Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. I wonder where uh, Alex is. I wonder if she'll be around. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good, that's a good one. It's nothing interesting. Harold makes the jokes. Let's take it. I can't just cart around any old thing. All right. It's not just any old thing, all right? It's a fire extinguisher. A necessity in case of fire. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Fine then. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Well, that's unsettling. I think we talked to uh, this guy now. Tell him about it. Right, y'all then. Uh, oh, right, we have dialogue options. Terrific. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Phew. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Good, we got what we wanted. Let's ask about the painting, though. That painting on the wall... Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, so she does. It's... this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Hmm. Nothing, huh? Alright. Let's uh, go this way and uh, use use our key on the door. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Hang on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that. I just want to make sure I was recording. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Are you gonna do this about everything? Oh, okay. A solemn-looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. <clears throat> it's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... What? All right, we'll go back. Ah. Okay. <laughs> it is kind of funny hearing him say, ah. Ah. Sounds like he just had a very refreshing drink. Ah. 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 
All right, I'll stop. Let's go this way. Locked. Do I, do I use the key again? All right, let's do it. No good. I can't even get the key in. It must be locked from the other side. Well, that's disappointing. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Well, can't exactly do that. What we got here? Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN1318. Right. Just like uh, Alex's password, Augur Peak 1318. Ah, uh, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> you're a doctor. <laughs> a crisp five pound note. It's my credit card. Well, can we use the credit card on the door to uh, shimmy our way in there? Or as uh, Alex would say, something to jimmy it open? Not really something I want to try. Well, live a little, Harold. Ah, well, can't. <laughs> I mean. I guess we go back now. I think that's what we do. Listen, bud. Uh, I can't keep going that way. So, let's uh, let's talk. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Uh, <laughs> I gotta have a drink, so yeah, there's a damn rush. What kind of question is that? Well, now we can explore these other rooms, I think. Oh. Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. Might be Alex. Who knows? Maybe she's not in this chapter at all. Locked. I... Okay, same thing there. Hmm, I can hear movement from within. Something rustling. Okay, hey there. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Well, you're a doctor, right? So you should... Be able to help help out there, right? A huge black hole door. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. Oh man, if only you knew. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red teardrop shaped gem set into the top. Let's let's get it. I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. I don't I wouldn't say that this is his most prized possession, but uh sure. Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Let's look in there. This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. But this is a video game. All sorts of faux pas are allowed, don't you know? Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. You're gonna have me go all the way back to the ticket inspector, huh? This seems to be a trend with you. Always wanting to visit the ticket inspector about all your problems. Well, nothing on old Gloria he doesn't know about, right? Here we go. Let's mention the grub. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. The, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, oh, well, give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was abrupt. All right, at the end of the corridor, this one? Is this Alex he was talking about? The door's slightly ajar. I can't remember if this was in the original or not. Well, this was the right room. Hello? Hmm. More large bags. More large bags. Okay, let's uh, open them up. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Right. What about these paper dogs? A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Is Floyd open for business, I think you meant to say. Ha! <laughs> I think I'll call him so. Oh my. Well, just made that connection. Let's uh let's go visit Floyd then. Uh the terrific A solemn Right. The terrific bartender at the end of the train. Hmm I can hear movement from within. Something rustling. You aren't going to wonder if it'd be rude to walk in? That's fine, we've already been in there, so... Don't worry about it. Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? <laughs> Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Uh, hey, w was that pronunciation different from earlier? Sound like he had a different, uh, emphasis. He doesn't look too happy. I wouldn't either if none of my dinner guests had shown up. Kind of a creepy fellow. And coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Let's talk to him. Good evening, Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, what? actually. But, uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, Wait a has second. tasked me with procuring him is a that... glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Sounds like diabetes from Red Supre, but it, it can't be. <laughs> okay, uh, but this is a different voice actor than in the original version of Sepulchre. I have to say I prefer the original so far, but maybe that's just because it's what I'm used to and what I was expecting. So, there's that to consider. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. A handy hip flask. The initials K.D are etched into the side. Are you KD? I guess it could be that Catherine person that Alex mentioned. Huh. It's empty. A handy hip flask. The initial... Right. So, uh, can you fill it up? Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Oh, man. <laughs> not going to say anything. Here we go. Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? 
God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang, let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Didn't even mention that. Well? A whiskey bottle. Looks expensive. Let's take it. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. I do have a credit card. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your PIN. I'm sure it's 1318. Now, what was my PIN? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. I'm no good with memorizing numbers. Yep, that was it. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. Let's get out of here. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang. That pale man you met, I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You are, after all, blind drunk. Thank you.